Hey everyone, how are you all doing? So, how are your preparations for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam going on? I'm sure you're learning a lot, but I really understand the pain, the mental pain that comes when we are going through loads of theory and not even a single practical. So, it's no way that you can test your knowledge and feel confident for the real exam. So, what exactly you can do? Well, you can test your knowledge against the real exam like questions and that's exactly where these videos are going to help you. So, in these videos, we take a lot of real exam like questions and I will tell you the questions and also validated answers and during the process my friends I also tell you how to identify the real keywords the important sections in the question so that you can really spot the correct answer and not just that with all the questions all my questions my friends I always give you legit AWS official documentation so that you can do some self-study and also validate the answer so what are we waiting for let's dive into the very first question for today so let's begin the part 26 with question number 206. Now friends, I'm sure that you're watching the previous parts as well. All the questions that we have covered so far are super important and you don't want to miss any of those as that will really impact the coverage of the entire syllabus for the AWS Cloud Practitioner exam. Now coming to this question here, my friends, this is a very important question. I will come back to the importance of the question in just a little while. But first, let's check out the question. Now the question is saying you that a company is migrating to the AWS cloud instead of running its infrastructure on premises. Which of the following are the advantages of this migration? And you have to pick two correct options. Now looking at the options, you can see the option A says elimination of the need to perform the security auditing. And then we have option B increased global reach and agility. Option C elimination of the cost of the IT staff members. And then we have option D ability to deploy globally in minutes and option E redundancy by default for all the compute services. So think very carefully. Let me tell you the answer. The first correct option is option B increased global reach and agility. And then we have next correct option as option D ability to deploy globally in minutes. Now coming back to the importance of this question, why I was saying because this question is actually related to the AWS global infrastructure and friends trust me, you are definitely going to get some questions on the AWS global infrastructure and what makes this even harder that the AWS global infrastructure has different components, majorly the six major components that you need to understand in order to answer these kind of questions. So let me tell you what are the six major components. First of all, we have regions. Then we have availability zones. The third one is local zones. We also have edge location at number four. Then at number five, we have AWS regional edge caches. And then at the number six, we have wavelength zones. And all these different components come together to make a real global infrastructure. And of course, there is no better way to understand the global infrastructure than the AWS documentation itself. So here you can see that the AWS global infrastructure is the most secure, extensive, and reliable global cloud infrastructure for all your application. So you can see that this infrastructure is launched in 33 regions. We also have 105 availability zone. And not only that, we also have 600 plus CloudFront pops, which is also known as point of presence. And then let's check out the global infrastructure map. So here you can see the entire map of this global infrastructure. So here you can see all the countries and all the continents. And this really tells you the span of global infrastructure. So let me come to the India here. So here you can see two green dots here. First of all, we have Hyderabad. So this availability zone was launched in Hyderabad in the year 2022 and this has three availability zones. Now coming to the second dot here, which is the Mumbai and that was launched in the year 2016. But this one has three availability zone. This also has two local zones. Now coming to the distinction of these green and red dots here, you can see that the green dots are already launched. These are regions that are already existing, but the red ones on the other hands are coming soon. Then let's understand what are the other components of this global infrastructure and here it says 40 local zones. It also has 29 wavelength zones and all these spans in 245 countries with 135 direct connect locations. You can also understand why this global infrastructure matters and how can you use this truly global infrastructure for your applications. And then once you come down, you can also understand what are the benefits of this global infrastructure and also this documentation here, my friends, here you can also understand what are the regions, availability zones and the local zones because most of the question in the real exam are circulating around these three concepts. So let's take one more question on the global infrastructure. Here it comes question number 207 that says which global infrastructure identity is composed of one or more discrete data centers 
with redundant power, networking and connectivity and are used to deploy infrastructure. And your options are option A, edge locations, option B, availability zones and option C, regions. And I'm sure that you have already read the documentation that I just shared in the previous question. According to that, the correct answer for this question is option B, availability zones. Moving on to the question number 208, it says that which of the following is a software development framework that a company can use to define cloud resources as a code and provision the resources through the AWS cloud formation. And your options are option A, AWS CLI, option B, AWS Developer Center, option C, AWS Cloud Development Kit, which is also known as AWS CDK. And then we have option D, AWS Code Star. And the correct answer for this question is option C, AWS Cloud Development Kit. And in case you're already not familiar with the AWS Development Kit, then this is the documentation. Here you can read that the AWS Development Kit is an open source software development framework for defining cloud infrastructure in code and provisioning it through the AWS Cloud Formation. And then you can also understand what are the two primary parts of the AWS CDK. So here you can see that the AWS CDK, first of all, it has the construct library and post that it also has the AWS CDK toolkit. And what are the benefits of AWS CDK? Well, my friends, you can actually use this CDK to develop and manage your infrastructure as a code. And these days, infrastructure as a code is a really big thing. So please read this documentation. It's not just from your exam perspective. It is actually the real working. When you really work on any cloud, be it AWS or Azure, you really need to understand this infrastructure as a code. That infrastructure as a service is a fundamental principle of DevOps and I'm really sure that you understand what is the DevOps and what are the concepts of DevOps. So a really important concept to understand. Moving on with the next question, question number 209. And this one says that a company wants to review its monthly cost of using the AWS EC2, which is kind of virtual machine and AWS RDS for the past year. Now, which AWS service or the tool provides this information? And your options are AWS Trusted Advisor, option B, AWS Cost Explorer, option C, Amazon Forecast, and lastly, Amazon CloudWatch. And what's the important keyword here? Well, we want to review the monthly cost. Option B, which is the AWS Cost Explorer, is the correct answer. So let's understand what exactly is the AWS Cost Explorer in a little bit more detail. Here you can read that the AWS Cost Explorer is a tool that enables you to view and analyze your cost and usage. Well, basically, when you have a lot of resources on the AWS cloud, then you really need to monitor the cost and the usage of these resources so that you can really control the cost and the costs are not running out of the roof. And that's where you would need the AWS Cost Explorer. And the best part is that the AWS Cost Explorer, you can see all the cost and usage free of cost. So here you can see free of cost. So that makes the cost explorer a really important tool. Now coming to the next question, question number 210 that says which options are available to a user who wants to connect to the AWS support and you have to pick two correct options. And the options given are option A, create an email case in the AWS support center. Option B, visit a local AWS support center. Option B, use the live chat functionality, call the customer service phone number and option E, use the video conference functionality of the AWS support console. And the very first correct option is option C, use the live chat functionality and then the next correct answer is option D, call the customer service phone number. Okay, so I really hope you like the questions today. In case you have some doubts or any question is not clear to you, do let me know in the comment section and I will really try to answer that question, my friends. And also, my friends, if not me, then there are a lot of other viewers who are also watching these videos. So that's why please do not hesitate to put your questions or the suggestions or any feedback that you have in the comment section. And also, please like this video, subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon and share these videos with all your families, colleagues, kids and Kins, who is learning Amazon AWS and not just that we also have some amazing Q&A series on Microsoft Azure exams as well and in case my friends you're looking for the PDF files containing all the questions and the answers then you can consider joining the community membership and that's all for today I will see you in the next video till then stay fit keep learning and thanks for watching